you want to know? Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So today I am going to be doing a trick. I am going to use water. I'm going to pour in some water just so you know it's normal potable water. So I'm going to pour in some water in one of these cups and I would like you to guess in which cup I pour the water. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So again, just to confirm, it's normal potable water. Okay, so I'm going to pour in the water in one of these cups. Should I pour in this cup? Or this? Or this? Let's go for this cup. So I'll pour in some water in here. There. Now, I need you to follow keenly and tell me in which cup I pour the water. So let's do a little bit of abracadabra. So watch carefully. This one gets a little tricky, so please watch the company to try to that water. Yeah, now, in which cup did I pour the water? Was it this cup? Ta da! Or this cup? And this? Oh, so where did the water go? We've checked all the three cups and we can't find the water. So what happened to the water in the cups? Take a look again. Was it in this cup? Or this cup? Or this cup? Oh my god. Where did the water disappear to? Was it magic? No, 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 that wasn't magic, it's science. Okay, come with me as I explain what happened in the experiment. Okay guys, there is something I didn't tell you. In one of the cups, I had put a polymer called sodium polyacrylate. This is a super absorbent polymer which absorbs 600 to 800 times the amount of water compared to its weight. Look here, I got my sodium polyacrylate from here, I put it in my beaker. I am going to add some water into the beaker and then you will watch as the sodium polyacrylate swells in the beaker. I'll give it a few minutes or a few seconds and there <laughs> inside the beaker so actually the sodium polyacrylate absorbs all of the water that was put in the beaker if I add a little more water absorbs the water. Let's try a little more. So here you see my sodium polyacrylate and you don't see any of the water that was put in the beaker. If I turn the beaker upside down, nothing goes out. No water goes out of the beaker. The sodium polyacrylate has absorbed all of the water. Quick question. Do you know what is inside baby's diapers that causes them to absorb so much water? Of course, it's none other than our super absorbent polymer, sodium polyacrylate. Now, let's open up this diaper and see how much sodium polyacrylate we could get from there. Take note, just a little amount of sodium polyacrylate is put in the diaper which absorbs 
all of the urine from the baby's diaper. So let's cut it open. inside the diaper but it's not just the cotton I am going to extract the sodium polyacrylate inside the, the diaper as well stuff that we have in here is the sodium polyacrylate again we don't need so much of it we just need a little quantity and the job is done That is our polymer. That's the little we can get from the diaper. This is the polymer that absorbs the water in the diaper alongside the cotton. So if I pour some water here, add it to the cotton, you also have some of the polymer. That is why the cotton can absorb and keep so much of the water. So you see the swelling, it swells. Okay, so take a look at this. That is my cotton alongside the sodium polyacrylate polymer. It absorbs so much water in the baby's diaper. Here is the cup where I put water at the start of the experiment. You will notice if I add some water into it, it has a similar texture and it looks the same like the diaper. I turn it upside down, it doesn't go out because the water has been absorbed. All of the water has been absorbed. So there, we add more water, it still increases. You see? So that is the function of sodium holy acrylate take a look at this see so in here i got my diaper on one side and my sodium polyacrylate on the other side you see they have the same consistency now you know why baby diapers absorb so much water one important reason why baby diapers absorb so much water is the presence of sodium polyacrylate. Ah. So again, sodium polyacrylate, and that is a polymer. You didn't ask me what a polymer is. A polymer is a long chain of molecules made up of many monomers put together. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and come back for more interesting science experiments. Thank you and see you in my next video. <laughs> Do you want to know?